massive Burlington Coat Factory Penny Haul. Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now, I do post every day except for Saturdays, and if I do post on Saturday, it's like a bonus video, but usually I try to take at least one day off of posting videos. But um, I did go to Burlington Coat Factory. Huge shout out to Sway to the 99 for giving me the heads up about Burlington's penny deals. I didn't even know Burlington had penny deals. I didn't even know they pennied out their items. So it was super exciting to one go and find a ton of items. I did go on a second haul. So this is my second haul. If you guys missed the first one, definitely check that out because the items in this haul are different than the items in the first haul because I went to different Burlington. So I went with Money Saving Megan. We did store hop to a couple of different Burlington's. They had a ton of stuff. So I'm super excited to share my haul with you guys. I do have a short clip from inside the store to show you guys just some examples of some of the penny items I found at my first location and then we will go over my haul. Now don't forget I do have several giveaways going on, on my channel right now. My extreme coupon kit is coming up next and I am so excited for that giveaway. If you don't know what extreme couponing is and you're wondering what all the stuff I have in the back, I am an extreme couponer. I love to go to CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, all those stores and get items super duper cheap if not for free. So if you wanna learn how to extreme coupon, then definitely hit that um, notification bell and that subscribe button so you don't miss one that giveaway or any of my couponing deals. So let's go ahead and jump okay, right so in. I'm with one money saving Megan and we are trying to find our best to find pennies. As you can see, look at these candles. A penny. They have some Christmas items that are a penny as well. Um, we found this flask. If you saw my Instagram post, this is also a penny. They are marking down a lot of their gift sets from whatever the price was previously. And like this one is $1.99. Let's keep, oh, and look at this. I mean, of course we'll have a haul for you, but this is the Apple Watch Dock Station. And this one is $1.98. That we went to at Burlington was we went to like the body section where they have like the soaps and stuff. And all of these items here were ringing up for a penny. Now this I thought was an amazing deal. Um, You get the dish soap as well as the hand soap and a kitchen sponge for a penny guys um, I don't know what the retail value is of this because this one doesn't have a price let's see if this one does okay so retail it was six dollars and ninety nine cents it compared to thirteen dollars but for a penny so I picked up two in the um, holly berry and then I picked up three in the vanilla sugar cookie so and these were all a penny now there were some like the, for example this one was marked these two weren't I'm gonna explain how I ended up um, paying a penny for all of them of course it's the same thing so yeah they should honor it but um, I'll explain to you guys at, um, at the end of this video how some tips and suggestions on how to make sure that you're getting that penny price um, next items we saw were these um, little they look like Christmas bulbs these were a dollar ninety nine um, they were ringing up for a penny as well so anything that looks Christmas related should be at a penny um, they had bar soap as well have a cup of cheer Merry Christmas in winter mint it's just a simple bar soap really cute what I liked about these and guys I'm not going to keep them um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hold them for the toy drive because the toy drive I did last year I did have a toiletry table for the parents so I might do something similar this year not 100% sure but guys these will all be going to donate I will not use any of them I'll probably go ahead and use this hand sanitizer because I thought this was actually hand soap this was also a penny as well Christmas related anything Christmas related will be ringing up at a penny so I picked that up and then I got um, some candles and these weren't marked with the red tag so it was a little bit of a different tag, 0 0.01. So make sure you look at all your tags. Some of them might have something similar to this. This was compared to $5, so I picked up three. I'm going to use these in some of my Valentine's Day presents because, you know, it's red and gold, and this is this beautiful rose gold. So a penny, yes, please. I'm going to put those aside. These will all go in my shed. So they had um, Cherry and Fig. They had Christmas Jolly Holly. They had Christmas Berry. So all of these are Christmas related, Feliz Navidad. And then they had these, which I thought were really pretty. Snowdrop, Moisturizing Hand Wash, 
peppermint twist and they have to and from stickers so even if you're not going to donate them like me you can still hold on to them and give them out to co-workers neighbors um, friends even family would really enjoy something like this for Christmas a small little gesture really nice gift and it only costs you a penny now if you're wondering how long soap um, shelf life is as long as it's not natural soap with um, essential oils in it um, regular soap has a shelf life of two to three years so I am good on holding on to these till Christmas for donate. Okay, let's take a look at some more penny I'm deals. I picked up five of these. Anything that is Christmas related, guys, will be, well, it should hit a penny or it should be marked as a penny. Merry Little Christmas. You got the little uh, toppers. You get the gift toppers and the little pom-poms and the string. Eight pom-poms. Baker's twine, five yards each, and eight tags. And these were all a penny. So I went and picked up five of those. Um, they did have some gift card holders, and these were a penny as well. So picked those up. This is the one I showed on my Instagram. I went ahead and purchased this. I know somebody who would absolutely love this who loves to fish. So this is the After Five Four Ounce of Fish Flask one penny guys i did show this on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram the link to follow me on instagram is in the description box i always post on instagram first before i post on youtube okay and then i found these australian botanical three-step glamour skin care set you get the face mist the face mask the face serum um and these were all a penny guys one penny super excited about this it's a brightening face mask brightening face serum and brightening face mist and i did pick up one two three four of them now this one the lady marked down to a penny and then the other ones i grabbed because i knew they should be a penny as well but um they were marked to 199 but as you can see after she scanned it it was a penny this was an awesome deal now the packaging's a little bit messed up i could probably preserve it or save it it's the body mist and a lotion collection by ellen tracy um you do get the rose the radiant orchid as well as the floral bliss you get two lotions and three body sprays this was a penny as well guys not a bad deal pick that up this i was super duper excited about this is the tw twilight floral brush collection a set of seven brushes and a bag so it opens like this glamour case look at that and then look at these brushes aren't they beautiful set of seven guys one penny i was super duper excited about this so if you see it definitely have them scan it um to uh, have them print out the red tag and I'll explain all of that at the end of this video but yeah this is a great deal and I'll probably be adding this to my next subscriber appreciation giveaway since this is such a nice gift set three vacuum storage bags this was also a penny great deal on this these Nanette Leopold deluxe bath gift sets were ringing up for a penny it is winter related it's a winter apple crumbles um, deluxe bath set guys and it does have like Christmas themed on it but that's okay you can take it out and put it in a really nice basket and it would make a great great gift um it comes with a winter apple scented bath wash it also comes with a luxurious um full size shower wrap a hair turban shower puff and a scented body wash so i picked up three and the winter vanilla really pretty so I went to, okay, so this is apple crumble and these are winter vanilla. So they had a different scent. And then this one was the deluxe bath gift set with full size luxury shower wrap, hair turban, power, power, shower puff, scented body wash. So this one is in sheer van, um, lavender. And as you can see, guys, it was only a penny. These were also a penny too. Um, I'm really excited about this one because it's not really Christmas related. I can definitely, definitely use this for Mother's Day. Um, those ones, I might take out of the packaging and just keep the body wash set aside for winter time and then um, use a different type of body wash, like maybe something from Bath & Body Works. Not 100% sure, but for a penny, I was so excited about I'm these Super deals. excited about these deals. Now, this is the Holiday Bath Set by Nicole Miller Winterberry Holiday Body Wash, Body Scrub, and Body Lotion. You also get a little makeup bag. Um, this was ringing up for a penny as well. 
I went ahead and picked up another one of the Cat Catherine Molendrino bath set. It's the deluxe bath set, kind of like the same as the Nanette Lepore set. Um, you get the towel, you get the hair turban, the body wash, and the scented body wash. Um, was this one marked? No, this one was at $3.99. But guys, when they um, typed it in, it rang up for a penny. So I got these for a penny on my last haul. You guys can want to check it out. I'll link that at the end of the video. But yeah, these are ringing up for a penny. I did have some marked down beauty sets for a penny. So this Profusion Beauty Box Eye Collection was only a penny. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I am so excited to put these in one of my smaller giveaways, one of these with a gift card and maybe some other bonus prizes. As you can see, a penny. Profusion Beauty Box Eye Collection, amazing, amazing deal. This is the eyeshadow primer, mini eyeshadow brush, a 15 shade palette, black eyeliner pencil one cent. I was so excited. The next thing I was super excited was the Pro Starter Kit, a 42 deluxe makeup kit. Um, you get 26 eyeshadows, two blushes, two highlighters, bronzer, contour, and 10 lip colors, guys. This is by Profusion as well. Look at that. And look at this. I'm so excited. This I might put this in a subscriber appreciation giveaway, whatever that may be, but one penny, not a bad deal. And then they have this one by BB. Um, All-in-one beauty kit, 89-piece cosmetic palette. And you get 48 eyeshadows, 3 blushes, 3 bronzers, 20 lip glosses, 12 shimmers, 1 applicator, 1 lip brush, and 1 blush brush. Now, um, it was tagged for $9.99, but when they scanned it, it did ring up for a penny. Okay, I'll go over like how I got it for a penny, even though this tag says $9.99. I'm going to go over that at the end of the video, so don't worry. I will explain all that. So I do have some items that I got super cheap, but they were not a penny. So we're going to go over that right now. I just wanted to go ahead and pick them up because I thought they were a recent, a pretty decent deal. First thing I saw was this BB Foot Pampering Foot Cream and Moisturizing Sock. Really cute. This is in Milky Way. This was 99 cents. Not a bad deal. I went ahead and picked up this Catherine Molendrino 8 Scented Hand Cream Set. Um, you get 8 hand scented hand creams. This was $3.99, so I picked that up. I picked up the um, same Mr. Barbecue um, grilling skillet. So my husband can do vegetables and stuff for me. Has a little handle with it. This was $4.99. It's super heavy. Really nice quality. So I got him that for the barbecue. I went ahead and picked up the Alan Tracy um, Floral Collection Rollerball. This was $2.99 in case I wanted to put it with the hand cream set I got. I thought that might be a cute little like giveaway gift. I went ahead and picked up this one, and I actually should have probably waited till it hit a penny. This is by Nanette, um, what's this lady's name? Nanette Leopold Ocean Beauty Pampering Body Cream, as well as the Moisturizing Hand Cream. And you get the little um, floral bath, scented bath, um, what are those things called? The scented bath scissors. So this was $1.99. It's still not a bad deal for $1.99, so I picked that up. I also picked this up for Amanda, $1.98, $1.98, the Apple Watch Dock. So she can use that at work. My husband picked these out, and I was like, $5? He, he needs them for work. So this is the Truly Wire-Free Earbuds Charging Case. I hope he just didn't buy the case. I don't know if he... Wire-free earbuds. It does include the earbuds and a free case. Um, this was on clearance from $4.99. It went down from $12.99 to $4.99. So he picked that up. He's like, at least it's on clearance. I'm like, okay, babe, go ahead. Um, I also picked this up. I believe this was uh, marked down to $3.99. I think Megan got one as well. This is the um, Body Catherine Mol Molendrino Mac Moroccan Rose Body Gift Set. You get the lotion, um, body scrub, body wash, as well as the hand soap and then a loofah. And this was a great deal. I love the basket. So I picked this up for like a possible Mother's Day gift. Um, these ones were marked down. I have to show you guys the exact price on the receipt. Um, I'm not sure if this is the correct price, $10.99. I'll check on my receipt. I just really liked it and I thought maybe I can put it in some type of giveaway. This is the Beauty Vault by BB. 132 eyeshadows, 
40 lip glosses, 6 blushes, 4 bronzers, 1 highlighter, 3 applicators, 2 lip brushes, and 3 blush brushes. Just a beautiful set. I don't know if I'll, I'll put it in a giveaway or what I'm going to do with that. This one I really like as well. This is the Beauty Artistry Artist by BB 141 Cosmetic Palette. I believe I paid $3.99 for this. Even though it says $7.99, I'll explain how I got the prices lower. $3.99, not a bad deal. I remember it was $3.99. I was super excited. And I also got this one by BB as well. This was on clearance too. I love the um, glitter on this. It has a, a, two bath fizzers, Berry Stardust um, Body Cream. It also has some Pink Star Bath Salts, Chocolate Moisturizing Body Lotion. Um, it was $4.99. I believe that was the last markdown price. I really like the container it came in, and I thought this was a really cute little gift. So I got that. And then I bought three of these at $2.99. Yeah, this is what they marked it down to, $2.99. I didn't think that was a bad deal for $2.99. So I did pick up three of them. Um, just a really easy gift. It retailed for $14.99, guys. Great deal. This is in the Vanilla Almond Body Lotion Scented Candle. You get the body wash as well as the hand cream. So for $2.99, not a bad deal. I did pick up three of them. I thought I can use these for Mother's Day for gifts for the seniors. And I just it's just a basic handout gift. I don't really have to do too much to it. Okay, guys. So that is everything that I got at Burlington Coat Factory. I got more penny deals than I did Clarence Fines, but still an amazing haul. Definitely go to your Burlington. They were marking stuff down all day Sunday, so you may still have an opportunity to go out there and find some penny deals. Um, it definitely, I'm going to, Go right now and show you guys some tips and suggestions but yeah i hope you enjoyed this haul let's go ahead and figure out what i learned at burlington so maybe you guys could take these tips and suggestions and catch some of these awesome deals too i did forget to uh show you guys my receipt so let's go over that really fast now i did find out that vault compact by bb was 10.99 i still don't think that's a bad deal i will be putting that in a subscriber appreciation giveaway um this is for the five piece bb um holograph set that was 4.99 that sh uh, shower thing that I show you was $3.99. These are all the rest of my penny. And that's a $1.99 gift. In total, I did end up spending $26.96. I definitely wanted to go over my receipt with you guys. I'm so sorry I forgot about that. We're going to go over tips and suggestions right now. Definitely head out to Burlington. I hope you guys can really score by looking at these items and maybe going to your store after seeing my tips and suggestions and getting some of these awesome deals too. I saved over eighteen hundred dollars guys i saved so much money and all these items will be going to a good cause so let's go ahead and look at the tips and suggestions so um one thing i did learn is that burlington does do their um, markdowns in sections so in the morning they usually start at the register and they work their way all around the store now unfortunately it's not like they know what items are going to be marked down they have to literally scan every single item on top of that um guys they have a quota they have to meet so i did not want to bombard the ladies or the guys with a ton of items like can you scan this can you scan this can you scan this but one thing to recognize when you are penny hunting is maybe you should not go first thing in the morning like I did. Um, maybe mid afternoon would probably be best because they would have already, you know, gotten through a lot of the areas. Um, one thing is if you do go in the morning, at least scope out where they're at. Like if you see the people scanning, scope out that where they're at, go have breakfast, then come back and check that area. Um, because you know, they, like I said, they have to scan every single item. Now, if you go to the register, like for example, this item that I just showed you in my haul, um, it had uh, no clearance tag on it, as you can see, and it says $9.99. You don't want them to scan it because it's going to come up $9.99. So if you're at the register and you're like, I know this is a penny, um, or it should be on clearance because you never know. It might, and every store, your mileage is going to vary. Every store and every um, state is going to be a little bit different, just like as Ross or Marshalls you would go to. So if, oh, here's the clearance tag. 
but let's just say it did not have the red sticker the red stickers right here but let's just say it did not have this but you know for a fact that this is a penny what you want to do is take it either to somebody who is scanning the items already and they'll scan it for you and they will place a red sticker on it now if it does not have a red sticker you can't find somebody that's doing the scans go to the register and have them manually type this now i know some burlington's i know cashiers can be like really I'm gonna scan it. You're like, no, can you please type it in? Because when they type in the number, the clearance price will show up. Now that happened to me quite a bit because um, we didn't, I was with Money Saving Megan. We didn't wanna bombard the ladies with all of our items. As you can see, I had a huge haul. So what we did is, um, you know, we would take one item and if we saw that it hit a penny, then we would grab all the other items. Unfortunately, that was great because we knew they were a penny. However, when you went up to the register, they had to manually type them in. Or we could have asked one of the girls to like scan them, print them, scan them, print them because they need to print the little red sticker on here. If not, please have them manually enter it. If they do not want to do that, find somebody with a scanner and have them scan it so they can put this red sticker. If they just scan this price, guys, it'll show up as $9.99. It's not going to show up any cheaper, no clearance, nothing like that. So make sure you do that. Sometimes it's just easier to please ask the girl to scan it and put, or the guy to scan it and put the red sticker on. It is up to you. I don't know. Like I said, your mileage is going to vary. Every Burlington's going to be a little bit different. So uh, that is definitely one thing that I did learn, especially at checkout. My checkout probably took, and I felt so bad for Steven. If you're watching Steven, I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, he was super sweet. He checked me out. He did manually enter a lot of stuff. Um, Megan's transaction was a lot more easier because as as he was checking me out, there happened to be a lady scanning and the manager said, you know, we're not going to do this to poor Steven. Go ahead and scan all her items and put the penny sticker so he can just. They were super sweet at my Burlington, guys. I didn't hold up any lines. We were there. There was literally nobody in Burlington. Um, the management was super nice. The employees were really nice. I mean, I got a great opportunity to talk to um, another lady there who also really wanted to volunteer. So I got an extra volunteer for some of my events. So it was absolutely amazing. I had a great experience at my second store. The first store, they're really mean. And I'm just going to be honest. They weren't really nice. They weren't very helpful. The, the ladies that were scanning were super helpful, but then the, um, store manager came and she was just like, we don't have time for this. I did not know about the quota thing. I did not know that they have to have so many done in a day during their shift. I did not know that they did sections. So that's what I'm saying. Um, I would go, you know, when they opened up or maybe 8, 30, 9 o'clock and just see where the scanners are because it does take them a minute to scan every single item and then go back mid afternoon and check to see what was on clearance and you might get lucky and find some pennies. They don't separate them or anything. They just basically put it with the stuff. Now I also found out, this is one great thing that I did find out about Burlington is the employees are not allowed to purchase the item until they want one, get on their break or two they are off their shift so I like that better than Ross because I know sometimes Ross the employees will scan it and they're like okay this is coming with me which is understandable it's a penny why not um, but it, you know when we're looking for it we can't find it so I found that also out from the manager that they're not allowed to do that they have to leave it on the floor until the break they can then therefore come back on their lunch break or on their 15 minute break, put the item and they have to purchase it. After their shift, they're free to do whatever they want. So it gives us all an opportunity to hopefully find some of these items too. Now, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode. I do have several giveaways going on my channel right now. I will link all of those at the end of this video. I will also pin them in the comments. Keep an eye for that Dollar Tree walkthrough that is coming up on Tuesday. Some of these items that I uh, hauled today, plus some extra bonus items and a Dollar Tree gift card will be in that giveaway. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm going to do some more work here and then you know I'll be talking to you guys hopefully later on this afternoon. I really hope that this information that I gave you in regards to like some tips and suggestions about Burlington is super helpful. It would have been really helpful had I known this you know the first day I went but I didn't know and you know what you learn as you go. So if, as I find out more information about you know penny deals at Burlington 
I'll definitely forward it on to you guys because I really want you guys. I loved reading the comments like, hey, I went and I found so many items. Thank you so much. I love reading the comments that you guys are also scoring on these deals too. So don't give up, guys. If you have to store hop like I did, store hop. Um, definitely check all of your sections. Everything is either 90% or some items have hit a penny. Now, I hope you guys are having a fabulous, blessed day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And Miss Daisy and I, I always look at her, I'm like, <laughs> that's our blue and gold McCall. She's up. We will be talking to you guys real soon. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.